what are we doing this week? Uh, so, we are going to start from the beginning of the National Video Game Museum kind of make your own game initiative. Uh, and we're starting with pixel art using Piscal, I believe. That sounds right to me. Okay. Uh, getting started with pixel art. Have you ever wanted to make your own video game character? Yes. <laughs> Perhaps you've always been inspired by the artwork of old school RPGs. Also, yes. <laughs> These resources will guide you through creating animated pixel art. Recommended for... Well, we're not going to pay attention to that. It's fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll do fine. We're adults. Uh, so, what should we start with? Should we start with um, some of these PDFs, looking over those? Yep. First one. So I've got creating pixel art with pixel. Oh, sweet. Oh, it's Bomberman. Oh, Mega Man even, yeah. Um brilliant okay this looks really nice. easy to look at um so we've got like a little we're gonna be we will be using basically a paint tool isn't it which is great mm -hmm. um oh, and we can do animation as well sweet and then at the end it just says we can then transfer these to something that we're going to be using later, I think, which is uh, Scratch. Brilliant. Okay, cool. Oh, looking at all those great little, great little pixel guys. Um, we could do designing a character offline. Oh, so that's just a pay. That's just a, a, a drawing sheet using. So I can print that out. That's cool. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's cool. Guidance for grown-ups. I don't think we need guidance for grown-ups, do we? We're not grown-ups, so. <laughs> no. Um, sweet. Okay. Um, so we're both going to work separately. Mm -hmm. Both going to develop our own. Now, are we both, maybe this is a decision we can make make, uh, make later on? or not um are we both going to design completely our own games or are we going to design separately and put them together into one thing is that too complicated Ooh, that's interesting i yeah my my idea was to create completely separately but if we end up creating something similar ish which i mean the odds are probably not as low as <laughs> we think um we have similar then. similar areas of interest so there's a <laughs> <Exactly>. possibility <laughs> um so and then we decide whether oh this could be cool to like implement together um i think to start with it would be cool to see what weirdness comes out of each of our brains yeah yeah i think that's a good idea um i'm already starting to think okay right because like this is the starting point isn't it where mm -hmm. if we're creating a character this is our this is our protagonist this is this is the player this is what we're going to play as we might also create like the things that they might have to deal with um so objects that they might interact with or um uh, other moving characters that uh, going to have to be dealt with in some way. They might need to be fought. They might need to be uh, avoided, whatever. Um, but yeah, we're creating our central persona, the person that the, cat, the player is going to be, which is very much going to set the theme of what the entire game is. Um, mm -hmm. So immediately my mind is like leaping around being like, okay, cool. What kind of, what kind of theme of a game? Like what's the setting that I really want to explore or, or enjoy creating? Um, 
part of me is being like, oh, I think I fancy doing something that's kind of like slightly sci-fi. Um, but then I'm also a bit like, mm, may, or maybe something that's more kind of traditional fantasy or a combination thereof. Do I try and make something that's entirely like unique to me or do I rip something off? Yeah. Um, or, or, or partially rip something off, like take inspiration from something that I'm really into, but maybe that doesn't have a visual, a strong, super strong visual identity. Um, yeah, all of those kinds of thoughts are rattling around in my head at the moment. Uh, what are you thinking about? Um, yeah, I'm thinking of what am I thinking of? I, I don't know. Um, I think I want to create something kind of like horror-ish because I think that'll be pretty interesting. And that's something I'm just interested in. Um, but yeah, how do you like, how do you create horror with, you know, pixel art, um, which could be interesting. Um, I think it's going to eventually end up being something kind of more gothic like castlevania sort of thing um but we'll see that's that's kind of where i'm leaning because that's i think that's my default kind of <laughs> aesthetic anyway so um he says whilst wearing a yellow hoodie um so, <laughs> so yeah so i think i think something along those lines um well, i'd be interesting kind of seeing um but you know yeah, at, at the moment, we're only kind of like creating characters, and then eventually we're going to get to, I think, like creating backgrounds and stuff, and that's going to be all fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I'm leaning towards kind of like a gothic horror sort of deal, and sort of traditional like, like werewolves and vampires and yeah. ske skeletons and and zombies and like yeah absolutely absolutely um nice nice that's that's yeah that sounds fun um yeah and that gives you a lot to play with as well like later down the line when we start to think about story mm -hmm. and also about music and stuff like that as well like what does that yeah. sound what does that world sound like yeah absolutely absolutely i think um, i think i've got something in my mind which is like a kind of super like trad 8-bit kind of <laughs> kind of like nice. aesthetic or if i went down a sci-fi type route of being more like that kind of like flang jang yeah. wing like a synth like a massive <laughs> yeah. synth uh yeah. loads loads of like sweeping synths um um yeah 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 uh oh, amazing okay cool so we've got options um we can we can do some little sketches literally with boxes um which might be fun to to look at over the week um doing with pens and pencils printing some of those out and drawing all of that um but at some point, we're obviously going to have to turn it into a digital art piece because I'll make a computer game on paper. Not, not exclusively, anyway. Um, cool. What, what are you thinking in terms of, like, type of game? Or is it too early to say at this stage? Probably too early, I think. Um, my kind of my my immediate thought goes to kind of side scroller kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I think it'd be interesting to see kind of after I create a couple of these, what if anything pops to mind? Because mm. um, yeah, because I'm going very much from like. I'm going very much from a Castlevania perspective, so like side scroll, side scroller platformer um, kind of thing. But it might be that after I get slightly more comfortable, I'm like, no, I actually want to do like a, a first person 
thing. Who knows? <laughs> mm. Mm. I'm I'm wondering. I'm 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 really bad at them, but I'm wondering whether I make a racer. Nice. Um, so rather than you know one of those perspective and the it comes at you kind of yeah. racing games um because yeah i was always awful at them so maybe i could make a game maybe by making a game i could become good at it yes, um, yeah. who knows um maybe, maybe understanding how it works will help me get better at it um also like i always think with those kinds of like moving side to side and everything comes at you like there's, there's there's slightly less to animate like i don't have to animate a, a human jumping because um they don't need to jump necessarily oh i don't know yeah so many ideas so many things mm -hmm. rattling around right now um cool right what should we do to start with i think we probably need to download the actual app uh, it's, it's online perfect uh, absolutely perfect oh there is a downloadable version of it if you want to do it offline as well okay um so um i mean i'm all, i'm i'm always online because of course i am uh and i can we can just we can use our work accounts because it's google um, which I'm, I realise now sounds I sound a lot more excited about that than I probably should be. Uh, <laughs> uh, yep, great. Well, that was that was easy. Immediately straight in. Oh. Uh, have, have an account, um, and I can start making. Oh my god! Wow. Okay. So let's look so at, many things. <laughs> let's look at there. Yeah, let's look at these tools. Okay got just a simple pen tool that does squares a mirror pen cool so i can draw half of it and have the other half mirrored amazing paint bucket obviously to fill in gaps paint all pixels of the same color cool eraser drawing straight lines drawing rectangles drawing circles moving things around selecting shapes rectangle shape selection lasso selection lighten and darken a dithering tool now i'm going to put my hands up immediately and say other than other than in, in the colloquial use of dithering as in being unable to make a decision i do not know what a dithering tool does i assume uh, it probably does something like that i just, I just clicked it and yeah it's basically a chessboard Basically, a chessboard kind of tool, paint, brush, whatever it's called. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's that. I, I I have to admit that has not made it any clearer what it does to me. <laughs> we'll work it, that out later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just going to select all of that and delete it. Yeah, cool. Okay. And then finally, a color picker. Great. So that we don't have to spend too much time changing colors. Ooh, loads of colors to pick from. That's really exciting to know. Um, what's that? That is. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, there's like a, a keyboard shortcut thing. Nice. And, ah, and keyboard shortcut. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> memorize all of these <laughs> no not at all um and then it looks like we've got our layers over here so we create a, a base layer we can create layers on top of that as well um to fiddle around with things we can clone stuff i love the fact that the clone is a picture of a sheep that win well done Pix pisco yeah. that's that's some quality design there um Align image to center, amazing. And then I can resize it, save it, export it, and import it. Cool. Uh, okay, yeah, 
this looks like it's something that I can um, I can work with. And so we've got layers and we've also got frames. Um, so a frame being part of an animation and a layer being uh, part of the same image, the same frame. Mm -hmm. um, and I assume what we can do is like, especially if we're animating something, making add extra frames, we can save the previous layer put it in to our new frame probably yeah and then like keep the bits we want and change the bits we need to change so we don't have to start from scratch each time yeah that's a, that sounds like surely it has to be possible otherwise yeah oh cool okay um well this is a really really nice easy uh PDF to follow. Um, yeah, as always, the most difficult part is going to be ideas, <laughs> creating some ideas of yeah. what we might want to do. Um, I'm also wondering whether I want to work in full color. Or whether I want to work in black and white. Interesting. Because I grew up playing mostly. I, I played, a, you know, played some stuff on Mega Drives and uh, SNES and stuff like that. But m the first console, the first like game machine that I ever owned, I got a second hand, uh, hand handed down to me uh, a monochrome game boy so that green and black of the game boy nice um tiny little screen only one color um so part of me is like hmm, do i do i do something like that um i think i might start designing in black and white um, and then work out if I need to add color to make the pictures that are, and the pixel people that I'm drawing just that little bit more easy to work out what they are. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, look, you look at their tips for other characters from that time. Pac Man. One color. One color. Mario. Mm -hmm. Three colors. Link, three colors. Kirby, three colors. So I think it's that's useful, isn't it? To think about it like probably shouldn't use too many. And then you look at uh, Mega Man. What have they got there? One, two, three, four, five, six seven different colors um there's a lot more going on with that or maybe it's a colorful maybe it's a colorful protagonist in a world of black and white that could be cool that could be fun um Or the opposite. Ooh. Ooh. Like like the world is colourful, the protagonist is in black and black and white, and as they as they make their way through the game, they have to uh, they have to defeat defeat things that are of different colours in order to get the colour back into their life. Just defeat primary colours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Maybe that's yeah, feels, yeah. That's cool. That feels that feels strange and weird. Um, cool. Well, I don't think there's a huge amount more that we need to talk about today. Um, no, I think yeah, we looked into it. Got, got, got some stuff. Got some ideas. I think um, it looks like it's a fairly simple tool to use, so we can um, 
have a play. Uh, yeah, it I... looks it looks really um, intuitive as well, which is good. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna start with pen and paper anyway. I'm gonna print off a load of those um, offline papers and grab some pens and just do some sketches um, and draw some stuff out in there. Um, before I do anything online, I think, so that I can, so I can work wherever. Don't have to worry about sitting at my desk or at my computer yeah. in order to do this. I can, I can, I can work sitting in a nice, comfy chair with a cup of tea. <laughs> um, amazing. So we are both now going to go away and start working. Um, and over the next two days, three days, we're gonna pull our ideas together and start to do some work. And then we're gonna come back together again um, and sort of show each other what we've what we've done so far um, mm -hmm. and explain it. And in the meantime, we're gonna document our process. So there should be some other bits of video here and there um, of us working on this. Um, which you should be able to see in a right now. <laughs>